Hey guys, what's up? I'm Mark and in this channel, I talk a lot about personal finance and investments, but I also cover a little bit about lifestyle, especially wine. Yes, we're back with another wine video. I noticed that some of my wine videos are actually getting a little more views during the holiday season. So cheers to you guys for wanting to try wine. But my question is this, why drink wine just during the holiday season when you could be drinking it all year round? For the holiday season, there is no wine quite as festive as champagne. But I know a lot of us aren't really willing to shell out that kind of money being in the neighborhood of 2,500 pesos to 3,000 pesos per bottle. I think I won't be spending that much. So I'm featuring here champagne alternatives. Today, we're featuring sparkling wine that isn't exactly champagne because as mentioned in previous videos, you can't call sparkling wine champagne if it's not from the Champagne region of France. And today, I'm featuring sparkling wine that's under 500 pesos. The first sparkling wine we're featuring is from Italy and this is the Prosecco. Prosecco is probably one of the more popular champagne alternatives out there. This comes from the brand Valdeoca. This is an extra dry Prosecco. So the difference with making Prosecco versus champagne is that champagne is of the traditional method where yeast is added to the bottle for the second fermentation or the bubbling process. While for Prosecco, the second fermentation actually happens in a tank. The resulting drink is debatably similar, which is better. The traditionalists will always prefer champagne. But again, if you can get a bottle that is at a fifth of the price, then why not? Look for the red tab that you can pull on so that you could quickly uh, open the bottle. Get that out of the way. As always, safety first. Put your thumb on top of the metal as you twist it. After untangling the wire, quickly take it out. Um, I could see that this bottle is ready to pop. Um, it wants to get out, so so let's not make it suffering any harder and let's open it. Again, use flutes for more bubbles. So this wine is actually very light. There's almost no tinge of yellow. I could smell a little bit of minerality there. So minerality would refer to flavors similar to stone. So it's not particularly fruity. Let's go in. The flavors are actually quite light. Um, a little bit of apple, a little bit of pear. If I were to compare it to the traditional champagne method, it doesn't have that much yeasty or that bread-like taste. So in terms of depth or complexity, there's not really like a deep flavor there, but it definitely gets the job done. For me, this is still a nice bottle to celebrate with, especially the holidays. It's usually good to put a normal cork, probably from an old bottle that you use from a regular wine cork. Uh, all right, so let's move on to the second bottle. For the second bottle, this is actually a French sparkling wine. And just because it's French doesn't mean that you can already call it champagne. Oh. It's actually labeled as Bon Mousseau. Not sure if I'm saying it right. When you see Brut on the bottle, so this is more for the non-sweet wine drinkers. If you want wine that's a little sweet, look for wine that says Semi-Seco or demi sec or sweet sparkling wine altogether. But if you're looking for wine that's a little bit on the drier side that has more subtle flavors so look for brut or extra brut for that matter this is from the languedoc rossillon region definitely one of the more known wine regions also i couldn't find anything else on how this wine was made so i'm pretty sure it's also similar to the prosecco method wherein the second fermentation probably would have happened in a tank 
if not just adding carbon dioxide altogether for this bottle this is actually a lower percentage in terms of alcohol so it's at 10.5 percent only versus the prosecco which was 11 percent so a little less buzz on this one but at least it's not under 10 percent right i can't find the tab to pull on so let's just go in and and use my brute force Oh, okay. Yeah, it turns out it did have a tab, but it wasn't colored like in the Italian one, so... This one has a different looking cork. It's a plastic cork. Um, still has the same mechanism, twisted wires, but it's all plastic. So let's try it out. Again, this one is also ready to pop, um, so let's get it open. That tends to happen, guys. <laughs> I'll clean that up later. Um, I think I lost probably half a glass with that one, so Aww. not so bad. At least you know you're gonna have fun with this bottle. So this one seems to have bigger bubbles versus the Prosecco. You also see that it's a lot more yellow. I think this is keeping the bubbles a little bit better than the Prosecco earlier. This one is more fruit forward, more citrus versus the earlier Prosecco. Also showing some stony notes. It has a little bit more bitterness to it, so I kind of like that texture. Okay. For the third bottle, we actually have this Cava. And since I've already featured this in a previous video, I'm not gonna open a third bottle. Aww. Out of these three, the Kava is actually the best value at 299 pesos from SNR. Again, Kava uses the traditional champagne method. The only downside for me personally of this Kava is that it's a semi seco um, But if you like sweet, then that probably works out for you guys. So this French sparkling wine, I think in SM, it's around 505 pesos, but it's not available in all SM supermarket branches. So um, this one I actually got from um, the marketplace by Robinson's um, at 495. Um, so you could definitely check it out. And the Val di Oca Prosecco is actually at 499 right now during December, also from the marketplace. But this is at a discount because this is their wine of the month. Regularly priced, I think it's a little over 550 pesos, if not 600. I hope you learned a little bit about sparkling wine and bubbly today in this video. If you missed watching this for Christmas, maybe you can stock up on these bottles for New Year's. Anyway, that's where all the popping happens. Again, wishing you guys a happy holidays. I do hope to see more of you guys in the future and let me know what you want to know more about wine. If you have liked this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and consider subscribing. Um, happy holidays and see you guys in the future. Cheers!